Shop, a Taco Tuesday podcast production. I am your host, Erin, aka the Gap Tube Diva. Today's guest comes to us from the fashion world. She's got products for you for political campaigns, homecoming weekend, possibly graduation pictures, Founders Day, Charters Day, stroll lines, or if you just want to step out in style. And in addition to that, her brand ambassadors consist of Miss USA 2016 and she's been featured in Vogue Italia. If you are new to the show, thank you for tuning in. And if you are true to this, thank you for your continued support. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and bring today's guest in. Welcome Jana Yvonne, designer and CEO of Jana Yvonne LLC. Welcome Jana. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Thank you for being on the show. So we're just going to get right into it. Tell us a little bit about how you got started and what does your business consist of? Okay, um, so I got started in 2017. Um, at the time, I was living in Orlando, Florida. And so I started off by styling just like local celebrities, nothing too serious. Um, I always worked in uh, some aspect of fashion, whether it was retail or sales or something like that. Um, so at the time I was working with Macy's, um, but I was doing styling on the side just to kind of, you know, keep to my passion, which has always been fashion since I was a little girl. Um, and so after that, you know, um, still styling and everything, I decided to make me and my friends some outfits for an event we were going to in California. Um, part of that event got canceled. So I had these outfits and nothing to do with them. Um, so I did a photo shoot in Atlanta, which is where I'm from. So ATL. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, so I planned a photo shoot around those outfits and I just put them on Instagram and people were uh, inquiring about them. And I was just like, oh, you know, like might as well just sell them. And so I did, they sold in like a week. Um, and that's pretty much how the garment um, and fashion side of everything started. Um, so then I actually ended up relocating to New York in 2018 um, as mm -hmm. a buyer for Ross. And so while I was doing that, I was also still trying to get my business up and going. Um, I started off by just revamping vintage clothing, um, which is kind of a, a popular hobby these days. And so um, I was doing that and still taking like custom orders on the side and just trying to figure out what the direction I wanted my business to go in. Um, and so from there, I just started doing um, my own, you know, custom clothing. And I started doing uh, niche, my niche, which is now casual luxe wear for women. Um, and so that all kind of started probably the beginning of 2019. And then the fall of 2019 is when I started my collegiate collection, which has been the bread and butter of my business, um, which is what you were mostly speaking of at the beginning during your intro. So um, I call it my collegiate couture collection. Um, it's not just for college students, you know, it can be for alumni or grad chapters or really anyone who's looking for a fun way to customize um, their well, outfits. Schoolers, definitely. Yeah. So, so many people. Yeah, so it caters to a lot of people across a lot of different demographics. We're going to be expanding into menswear soon, so I'm really excited about that. But um, yeah, that's how I got started and it's been going pretty well ever since then. So I'm really excited about the program. Well, congratulations. That is so dope. I actually was going to ask you about the expansion for the men's line. So where do you see that? Um, or how far out do you see that happening? Um, so we're going to try and definitely expand to men's uh, menswear this year. Um, we're still going to be, you know, keeping the same type of content and product. Um, we will be introducing some new things, maybe some stuff for baby as well. So um, I'm really excited about to see where photo it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to see where it goes. And um, it was just like a random idea I had and I just took it and ran with it. And I'm just shocked to see that it's doing so well. That is so dope. That is so dope. Congratulations on that. Now, did you go to college for fashion design or is it just something that's always been a passion? I know you said that it was, but is it something that you wanted to navigate that career or no? So I actually did not go to college for fashion design. Um, I started sewing when I was 10 years old. My third grade teacher, she actually taught me how to sew at a summer camp. 
and um shout out to the third grade teacher right shout out to my third grade teacher um she just kept you know working with me until I literally graduated from high school um and then while I was in high school I did a program at SCAD Savannah College of Art and Design um and that was like a one-year program and it definitely taught me a lot about fashion illustration and kind of some of the basics and then um I just kind of put that on the back burner for college just because I wanted to go to uh, the University of Florida. And uh, I also was very passionate about journalism. So that's what I ended up majoring in. Um, and so I always loved fashion and I stayed you know, consistent with my involvement at UF in the fashion realm, um, but I did not study fashion in college. Okay, no, I think that is like very millennial of you. You know, everybody has these hidden talents and these hidden passions and, um, Ashley, to go into the next question. So because a lot of millennials are just people, period, they want to express themselves in so many different ways. How are you able to maintain a full-time job while also running a business full-time? I, I commend you for that. Congratulations again. Like, I just think you're so dope. That's that's um, on so many levels. So um, how are you able to do that? If like just giving a word to advice to somebody that is looking to do that. Yeah, it's hard work. Um, a lot of people don't, they don't understand what goes into starting a business. It requires a lot of consistency. So um, kind of rewinding a little bit. Um, I mentioned that I worked for Ross. I ended up, um, you know, leaving that company in the end of 2018. Um, so I actually ran my business full time for about like a year and a half, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I got a part-time job, um, which turned into a full-time job. So, um, I ran my business full-time, which I, you know, everyone wants to get to that point where they can just, you know, run their business and that's right. all they do. Um, and it was great. Um, but I started getting overwhelmed with the workload and I had to hire some help. Um, so that's when I hired my first employee and I had to finance her. So I got a part-time job, um, it just so happened that God worked it out for me where my part-time job ended up being something that I love. Mm -hmm. um, I work for a tech startup named Mirror. You probably heard of it, fitness um, company. Um, but I started off part-time with them. And then as we began to grow, it turned into a full-time role. And, you know, hiring the, a great assistant has helped me, you know, keep my business going, running that full-time, managing her, and then also being able to work remote and work my full-time job as well. So, so. lots of self-awareness. I think that's something that people don't really realize that's so important, but self-awareness, you realizing that you were overwhelmed, you realizing that you were like you had your hands on a lot and it was just a, a lot emotionally for you. I think that is something that is very helpful advice to people who think that starting a business is just like, oh my God, I'm going out and start a business and they don't think about the other things. So I think that's great advice to give people. But just sticking um, with your, your design, because you know, we really want to push that and promote it. Um, how, just like take us through like the, the customized portion. Like if I come to you, I'm like, hey, I'm going to my family reunion. My cousin, she always want to steal my style, but you know, I want to dress this shirt up. How would that go? Is that something you would do? Yes, of course. Um, so I've done group orders for multiple events, whether it is a family reunion, a group photo shoot, a group trip, um, you name it. Uh, basically, we take whatever customization you want, um, we apply it to your item, whether it's a blouse or a sweatshirt or a crop sweatshirt or a hoodie or a body. I love the sweatshirt look. Oh my yeah, God. There's so we've expanded a lot. So we even do the cat suits, the body suits, the jumpsuits, like we do it all. Um, so yeah, you just tell us what you want to be customized on it. And then we can do it for you in however large quantity that you need. Uh, <laughs> the reunion is coming up. I might have to go ahead. You know, we don't have to connect outside of this interview because. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely something we can do. Um, and then also I just wanted to mention that I don't just do, you know, the collegiate couture line. Um, we also do like custom everything. So I'm, worked on wedding dresses for people, um, wedding attire for people who are just attending a wedding, um, anything, birthday outfits, Halloween costumes. So um, I do um, custom orders as well. Um, and then I have my luxury line, which is um, a little bit more of a brunch vibe. Um, if you're like stepping out on the scene, have an event to go to, you can also purchase from that line as well. So um, we offer a lot of variety at Jenny Vaughn LLC, so um, check us out online. 
Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Go ahead and give them the name of the website so they know where to find you. Yeah. So you can go to www.janayavon.com and that's Jana with two N's and Yavon with two N's. All right, great. So um, not too much longer. You know, we don't like to drag it out and make it nice and short and sweet. But um, so I did see on your Instagram page, at least that you um, you feature women of all different shapes and sizes and styles. And I know that was a, your collegiate line, but um, people dressed it up. They put on heels. They had hair wraps on. So I think that was something that was very cool about um, your line. But um, just just so like our viewers know, what sizes do um, your outfits come in or um, just apparel, what sizes do they range from? Okay, so yes, um, we do everything from a extra small to a triple XL if you're ordering from the collegiate line. If you're ordering from our other collection, um, it's everything from a zero to a 22, I believe is the equivalent. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get everybody. In the men's line, do you feel like it's all in competition? Oh, right. Perfect. Perfect. The men's line, do you think it will be all encompassing too, or trying to reach as many people as possible? Um, so for the men's line, we're definitely going to just start with standard sizing, um, just because, you know, menswear is very um, specific. <laughs> Yeah, it, it can it can take a while. So just to begin the expansion, we'll be starting off with standard sizing, um, you know, so small to uh, probably double XL, triple XL would be, you know, the range. Um, but in terms of, you know, our luxury line, we're still going to work out um, what that will look like. So we're okay, gonna well, I'm excited to see that. First. Yeah. So excited to see that. So if you just wanted our viewers to just take away in 30 seconds or less something impactful about your business, how you set yourself apart, or just something that just stands out, sets you apart, um, give it to us in 30 seconds. Um, okay, uh, so we are, you know, a company that really is all inclusive, like I mentioned before. Um, I just think what's unique about my product is the fact that you can customize it how you like. Um, it can appeal to any age um, and it's great for multiple events throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, we have different sleeve types that you can choose from, different bases you can choose from. So you're probably not gonna see anyone wearing what you're wearing. And I know that is a big thing in the fashion world. It's a big thing for me. It's why I got started in this business, in this industry. Um, so if you want something that's custom, exclusive and cute, um, or fashion forward, then this is the place to shop. You're the girl, yes. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. I am so excited for your success, your continued success. And um, you're gonna have to come back on here and, you know, don't be a stranger. <laughs> of course, I would love to come back with you guys. Um, thank you so much for having me again. And um, I'm excited to see, you know, what you guys do as well with the podcast. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, you heard it here first. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but <laughs> Jenna Yvonne, everybody, thank you so much again for coming on. And make sure you guys tune in um, to next week's episode. And then also make sure you follow her, go to her website, purchase something, support her. She's doing great things and we want to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Bye guys, thank you. It's fun.